The Bible says, my king is the king of the Jews. He's the king of Israel. He's the king of righteousness. He's the king of the ages. He's the king of heaven. He's the king of glory. He's the king of kings and he's the Lord of lords. That's my king. My king is a sovereign king and no means of measure can define his limitless love. He's enduringly strong. He's entirely sincere. He's eternally steadfast. He's immortally graceful. He's imperially powerful and he's impartially merciful. I wonder, do you know him today? He's the greatest phenomenon that has ever crossed the horizon of this world. He is God's son. He's a sinner's savior. He's the centerpiece of all civilization. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He is the loftiest idea in literature. He's the highest personality in philosophy. And he is the fundamental doctrine of true theology. And he's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient savior. I wonder if you know him today. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted and the tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick. He cleansed the leper. He forgives the sinners. He discharges the debtors. He delivers the captives. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young and serves the unfortunate. He regards the aged. He rewards the diligent and he beautifies the meek. I'm asking, do you know him today? He is the key of knowledge. He's the wellspring of wisdom. He is the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. He's the roadway of righteousness. He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. Do you know him? His life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous and his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Oh, I wish I could describe him to you because he's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He is irresistible. You you can't get him out of your mind. You can't outlive him and you can't live without him. See, the Pharisees, they couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. And then Pilate couldn't find any fault in him and Herod couldn't kill him. Death couldn't handle him and the grave couldn't hold him. That's my king, King Jesus. Do you know him today?